Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back in again with yet another DC Comics action figure toy news video. And today we're going to be checking out some of the brand new offerings from McFarlane Toys, namely in the sense of Superpowers Wave 4. Now keep in mind, Superpowers has prior been an exclusive line only to Walmart. Things are definitely changing, and now you're going to be able to get them at the likes of Entertainment Earth and Amazon. For those of you wondering, if you like anything you see in this video, as always, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. Thanks for using my links. These are looking to ship in and around June. Knowing McFarland Toys, when they announce things, sometimes it's a lot sooner. You might even see these this weekend. It's really kind of up in the air. But just be on the lookout, coming soon, probably in the next month or so, you should see these maybe in stores and shipping out from wherever you'd pre-order them. First and foremost, for this new Wave 4, we have Aquaman in his oranges and his greens, where I definitely like the costume they got going on. When you have a more long-haired Aquaman, I definitely do prefer him to have a hook hand. I think that that just kind of goes better. Do I think it looks bad? No, not at all. It looks totally fine. It's just my own preferences. But he does come with a trident. He's got some bright colors. Very much superpowers. Totally dig it. He's got that simplistic articulation. I know a lot of people out there go, well, I don't really get this line. What are they doing with it? Well, it's kind of just a simple thing of bringing back superpowers for now a modern audience. They kind of sort of scale with the original superpowers, but if you're anything like me and you really didn't grow up collecting superpowers, well, this is your second chance now. So that's why I'm totally digging them. And much like Batman 66, this particular retro area that McFarlane Toys dwells in really turn it up a notch. They're really doing the retroness in a great way. From superpowers to Batman 66, those are their best lines. The multiverse goes either way sometimes because of scaling issues, paint issues, yada, yada. For the price point, all of these figures are at, you really cannot go wrong. So again, with that classic card art at the $10 price point, not too shabby at all. However, on the back side of Aquaman's card, if you look closely, we looks to be getting a Black Manta figure as well. It hasn't been officially revealed. It might be a store exclusive. We'll just have to wait. But as always... Know that we have a Black Manta, but wait until the official reveal and more details specifically from McFarlane Toys. Moving on, we have what they're calling a variant Wonder Woman. Now, we just got Wonder Woman in the prior Wave 3. She was okay. It's more of that rebirth type style costume. This variant has a different colored cape. Before it was red, now we got blue. Is it my favorite costume for Wonder Woman? Not really. Is it a bad looking Wonder Woman? No, not really at all. However, I did think that she looked better without the cape on the red versioned one. And I think we definitely do need a lasso now, right? That would have been kind of cool to put in the box. In fact, for every superpowers release, at least one accessory. Batman's got to have a batarang. Robin's got to have baton, batarang, something to that degree. But... If you're a big fan of Wonder Woman, this might be right up your alley. They've definitely improved upon the capes. There's no hole punch through them anymore, right? So that's a good thing. But the card art, everything looks good. Everything kind of brings that nostalgia while being a more modern-ish Wonder Woman. However, with every good Wonder Woman, yeah, you're definitely going to need the invisible jet. And no joke, yeah, it is a clear plastic vehicle and it really does look pretty darn cool. I was kind of wondering, like, how are they going to tackle this? Well, it's exactly what I was hoping it was going to be. It's largely an all-clear plastic vehicle. It does have some yellow in there. It kind of looks like her lasso is in there. They don't really give any details. Kind of looks like you could lower her down from the lasso. Maybe it'll be some sort of winch type device. That would be kind of cool. But yes, for the most part, it's a completely see-through vehicle, which is pretty darn cool. And you can see that the top canopy opens. It's clear plastic, not a gray plastic, FYI. It comes in various pieces. You assemble it yourself and you can get one Wonder Woman figure in there. And again, I like what they're doing with the packaging. It's very cool. On the front, the fact that it's just a see-through outline. How else are you going to do it? But they definitely nailed it. So in the case of this wave for Wonder Woman, I definitely dig her invisible jet. But for the variant figure, yeah, not so much. Moving on, we have one of my favorite figures out of this new wave, which is Tim Drake, 90s Robin. That's the Robin I think about. 
he looks awesome. Would I prefer maybe the cape to be black on one side, yellow on the other? Well, yeah, that would have been totally awesome. And like I said, a baton, a batarang, some kind of accessory really would have brought these to life, but in either sense, but like I said, this is the Robin that I think about. Now we just need a superpowers anarchy figure, which I think would be pretty darn cool. So you could do a little uh, versus action right there. But from the reds to the greens, the stylized R, love the artwork, the card bag, everything looks great on this figure. So this one, out of all three that we've looked at figure-wise so far, this gets the A-OK -okay number one. But as always, with every good Robin, you need a equally as killer looking Batman. And they've definitely outdone themselves. And I think that this is where People who love the old school DC comics, much like myself, the new stuff, I really don't get it. This is where I like to live. In the old schoolness, the retroness, it's simple. It's safe there. But I think in terms of the superpowers line, this is more on the money. I think that including a new type figure every once in a while is not a bad idea, but really embrace the classic colors and this Batman is no exception. He's got the black part of the mask. He's got the blue eyebrows, the gray, the cape. They nailed it. This is the old school one brought back to life. And he just looks awesome. The cape looks great. Extremely happy with the route that they took here. And I think equally he will go great with that 90s Robin. Because you can kind of fudge them together. 80s into the 90s. It all kind of works. So I'm definitely happy with that. Him on the card back. Now that's a classic looking retro card right there. The old school logo for Batman, Batman artwork. It's awesome. But you know what else is awesome? You get the friggin' Batmobile as well. The superpowers Batmobile brought back to life. You got that cool sheen of the blue and the black and you got Batman's personalized face. It fits two figures. A lot of Batmobiles flying around these days. A lot of Bat cycles. But this one, again, very iconic. Very, very cool. I love the way this looks. Again, the price points for these, 10 bucks for the figures, 20 bucks for Wonder Woman's Invisible Jet, 30 bucks for the Batmobile, and it just looks awesome. From top to bottom, side to side, you got the Batman logos every which way. Batman loves to personalize his stuff, much like Spawn, right? And then you got these jet thrusters that pop up in the back out of the trunk. Again, very old school, very Kenner, very toyetic. And really, these days... That's where a lot of these toy companies are missing the mark. They're making everything too collector friendly, too collectible. Oh my God, limited edition. Blah, blah, blah. If you just make them simple like this, you'll sell them. Trust me, the simpler, the better. It's too much these days. Everything is a collectible. Everything's high end. Everything is very expensive. This is what toys are supposed to be. And again, that's where I'm having fun with McFarlane Toys and collecting these old school looking toys. They're fun, they're exciting, and they make a real standout presence on your shelf. The box is killer, the artwork looks great, from the Invisible Jet to the Batmobile, every which way. It just looks awesome, so they're definitely nailing it. And again, this is a great return to form for Wave 4. I think 1 through 3, they kind of learned some of the hurdles here and there. Uh, the vehicles are solid, don't get me wrong, but some of the character selection, let's go less with those and more with the classic costume. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys, the Superpowers Wave 4 collection. You've heard my thoughts and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything superpowers. And stay tuned for info on that upcoming Black Manta. Again, if you want any affiliate links, they're down in the description below. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, for the next wave, who would you like to see out of DC Comics get the superpowers treatment? When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.